Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Children's Hour brought to you by the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. I am your host, Rashid Downer, where Children's Hour is one of the ways we will be celebrating and interacting with youth all across Jamaica. We will take over the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information Instagram, Facebook page and YouTube page 5 p.m. on one Friday every month. We will share information, play trivia games and do fun activities where you will be able to win lots of fantastic and wonderful prizes. I will now do a short prayer for the children. Please bow your heads. Dear Lord, we come to you right now to give you praise and to give you We're asking you to cover each and every children in Jamaica right now, mighty God. We're asking you to instill them with the knowledge that they will come out victorious, mighty God. We're asking you to guide us through to completion. We're asking you to carry us on the way and on the right path, mighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Um, right now, I will be inviting some of my little friends on to have a little chat with them. So I would like to invite Philip, Niraya, and Layla for a little Christmas chat. Um, so hi guys, how are you all doing? I'm good. All right, Philip. All right, Layla. All right, wonderful. So one of the main things I would like to ask you is, what are some of the main Christmas traditions that Jamaica have and that you guys follow? For example, you know, we all like to, you know, wake up on Christmas morning and, you know, um, pull our presents that our parents have brought us. And many of us have that same mentality of having, thinking that it is um, Santa. So I'm going to start with Naraya first. What is one of your favorite Christmas traditions? My favorite Christmas tradition is everything. After we open all the gifts, we watch Christmas movies. All right, I kind of like that a little bit as well, you know, but I don't really like movies into a sense. Um, Philip, over to you. Well, my favorite is like, um, we open up the presents on Christmas. All right, so the same as Naraya. Um, Leila, how about you? My favorite thing is that after the all right then quality is you know it is a good thing all right so what is your favorite christmas carols naraya Joy to the world. all right Leila. Um, all right that's wonderful philip oh, come on, repeat. Oh. i'm not sure on that one repeat Oh, all right, it's wonderful. The last question is, what do you guys like to do on a Christmas day? For myself, I like to, you know, like lay down in my bed and just don't have anything to do. Philip? Sing the whole day. All right, it's wonderful. Um, Leila? Um, I like to go outside and celebrate Christmas with my community. All right, wonderful. Nice community involvement. And Naraya? Open presents. <laughs> Open presents. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of a Christmas quiz. All right, so I will ask each of my friends a little, well, some questions alternately. So starting with Philip, Naraya, then Leila. First um, question goes to Philip. In what city was baby Jesus born? Um, Bethlehem. All right, correct. Naraya, over to you. In a famous Christmas song, what type of bird sat in the pear tree? <laughs> Correct. A partridge in a pear tree. Over to you, Leila. Um, what are two popular items placed on the top of a Christmas tree? Um, a star or a baby Jesus. Correct. All right, Philip. Over to you again. What is the traditional Jamaican Christmas drink? Um, sorry. Correct. All right. So over to you, Naraya. What gifts did the wise men bring to baby Jesus? Frankincense. So yes, you were correct. Um, gold, silver, and frankincense. Over to you, Leila. Which con? Sorry, which Christmas song um, includes the lyric "Sleep in Heaven, Peace"? Um, it's not going to the world, is it? No, it's not. I'm not 
All right, the song is Silent Tonight. All right, over to you, Philip. Sing the next line after this. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let All right, correct. I see that little nice singing voice. That is wonderful. So over to you, Naraya. Sing the next line after this. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. All right, I wouldn't be sure either. So it is the Lord, sorry, little Lord, um, Jesus laid down his sweet head. That was a, that one was tough. All right, so Layla, the last question goes to you. Sing the next line after this. Holy night, the stars are bright and shining. I can't think of yours. It, all right, what is the next line after that? All right, so it is, it, it is the night of our dear Savior birth. All right, so the bonus question, you all can just raise your, all right, this one is worth two points. You can just raise your hands to answer if you know the answer. According to the famous Christian song, what would you say if you see Randolph's nose? Rudolph, sorry. Naraya? Correct. Um, Leila? You would even say it glows. All right, that is what we're looking for. You would say it even glows. All right, so the winner of that round is Leila. Um, and I have a prize for you. Let's just give her a clap. All right, so I have a prize for you right here. This is your token sponsored by the Children's Affairs and Policy Division. All right, so we're going to go into a little bit of an interactive chat with Miss Chrisan um, Ramsey, who will be our presenter for this evening's show, our wonderful presenter from the Children's Affairs and Policy Division. Um, you could come and stand right beside me, Miss uh, um, Auntie Ramsey. All right, so you know, how has your day been going? It has been good so far. All right, wonderful. So, you know, let's just have a little chit chat. So, for you, what is Christmas like? Christmas is about family, um, no food. Yes, I love eating the food. Decorating mm -hmm. and just spending quality time with family. All right, then my next thing is, what type of food do you eat on Christmas Day? Because I'm, I'm quite intrigued to know. You really want to know everything? Yeah. Oh, oh, you oh mean yes, one. Let's go. So, I like the curry goats. Mm -hmm. I like ham, mm -hmm. ham, half a day. Yes. There's pork. Yes. There's baked chicken. Yes. There's Christmas cake. Mm -hmm. There's gungo peas and rice. Yes, have to have the gungo oh my peas. Gosh, the list continues. Yes, oh, man. And don't forget the sorry. Wonderful. All right, so Jamaica has this little same bowl that once they're making, so we have to put a little, you know, red label wine into mm -hmm. it just to, so, you know, steam it like a little bit. Spice it up. Yeah, man, wonderful. So, my last question to you is what are the benefits of creating your own Christmas decorations? Well, creating your own decoration actually gives you time to bond with family and just have time to. Just be creative. All right, wonderful, Miss Ramsey. So we're going to go into a little, you know, DIY session where we're going to be creating Christmas decoration and ornaments for our very own Christmas trees. So I'm going to hand over to you right now to start, you know, teaching us how we're going to make these wonderful ornaments and decorations. And okay. I might have some questions for you in between, but let's all hand it over to you. Okay. Um. Evening again, everyone. So earlier when we were having a little chit chat, we sat and we looked at the tree, the beautiful tree right here. It has a lot of DIY ornaments. So we spoke and everybody told me what you wanted to do. So I'm going to ask you to just go to the table and you can choose your different items that you would want. And then we can go from there. All right. So I'm firstly going to pick up you four of up these. Your... Leila, what are you going to pick up? All right, Philip, what are you going to choose? Straws. All right, Naraya? The, the macaroni. All right, some nice macaroni. Which I'm also going to go for uh, okay. some macaroni as well. Yeah, I also got some macaroni. All 
All right, here is some for you, Layla. Yeah. I didn't give you that one, I didn't. Yeah. Which one? You're so much mm -hmm. welcome. And I'm just going to take some for myself as well. All right, so. You're welcome. So, Miss Ramsey, yes. you're going to teach me how to, you know, because I'm not really so crazy, but you're going to teach me how to, you know, spice up my little Christmas decorations, you know it? <laughs> no problem. No problem at all. So, all right, first we're going to go, we can do, we're going to use the penny pasta. Mm -hmm. And... It's just a little quick thing. You kind of glue here and join it, and you kind of go around with it. You can do that, and then Rashida, I'm gonna ask you to just try and do it while I go with somebody else. All so right. what you're gonna do is just glue on the inside and continue around. Okay. But careful of the glue; it will burn you. Noted. All right. All right, so just continue on the sides and go around. Yeah. Let me go to Layla. I'm going to do the, the clothespin one first. Okay. So this one. Oh, I don't have any. Oops. So you're just going to glue these. Okay, so we're gonna come and glue these together. These are tissue paper, the roll, and you kind of fold them and then you cut them. So we'll glue, I'm gonna show Naraya, we'll glue, just slightly glue it, Naraya, and you put it together, and then you just continue around. You can maybe put six petals, and then you just continue around. I'm going to go to Philip. So, Philip, um, let me show you this one. So, I'm going to cut it in half to show you the cake top off. All right? How are you doing, Lila? So, all right, you're right, we'll you're go right. ahead. Cut it in half. Oops. And use a tie strap. And you're going to pull it through. You can pull it. Tight, 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 tight. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right, so firstly, you know, I'm going to go over to Leila. Leila, you can pull it as tight as possible, making? and that's basically it. But yeah, you want right, to more than. Yeah. <laughs> but that's Decorate the concept. But this okay. one, you'll right, glue wonderful. it both. We'll so, use the glue. Naraya, what are you making? Yes, you can use this. I'm making like a star. All right, like I, I start to put on the top of the tree, like what we have over there, but with straws. Oh, one of those. Yeah. All right, then. This is the, the close one. Yeah. 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 All right, so one. I am just making this um, star thing so as well. It, it is supposed to be the top of the tree. It is being used. It's one. pasta. You're using to and construct like a little and then we come back star to ornament so here. Glue six of them. Are you okay now, right? Oh, this is nice. Did you glue all of them? No. Go I ahead and glue it. Yeah, then that, that is nice. So you can glue them together and then we come back. I am personally having some challenges trying to glue it's my fine. star together. It's fine. It's gonna stick. And ooh, you stick two. But it's fine. I guess we can kind of add one right here. All right. And then it kind of look like a a different pointed star. But yeah. <laughs> And then what you can do, 
can let it dry and then you can glue it and then you put the sprinkle on it. So this is a glue gun and this is penny pasta. Um, and then we'll use the glue. Let me this around. And then you can just glue it and then you can put whatever sprinkle or paint you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there are sprinkles over here. Maybe you would want a blue, right? Well. So there's pink and gold. This is I'll blue and gold mixed I'll together. I'll go for the green, like okay. Latin color wire. I didn't, I didn't glue those together yet. Though. Okay, so let me help you. So after you've glued all of these together, you will come and stick them, glue them all five together. Into the star shape. Into the star shape. For those joining us at home, you can also get your own materials. So, you know, create your very own DIY, you know, Christmas decoration and ornaments. You can just, you know, go, go into your house and find a little toilet paper, you know, and get a little glue and, you know, start just make something with it like a little star, something like that, you know. So, just get creative because we as young persons with young minds, you know, we, our minds are so innovative and cultivative as young persons. And you can also use the clothespins or pasta to make um, your do-it-yourself um, ornaments. You could even use cartridge paper. I don't know if you can maybe point the up to the top. There are some displays on in the ceiling. You could maybe look at those. This would need to dry. And okay. you want me to show you this one? Sure. So. These wires that we have right here are from the clothespin. So what I'll end up doing is just gluing them together to just kind of form in another star shape or something. This is so cultivating and innovative, you know. It is just wonderful. As you know, there's a term called super califragilistic expelliosis. So just it, it just shows how much fun we're here over here at the Ministry of Education having. You know? Let me see like this one. And then one more. Yeah. It's not gonna stick to the paper, is it? It's gonna, but guess what? We just have to lift it off. It's gonna be fine. So we could put and that's it. And then you can paint it after. Mm -hmm. There you go. I, so I this is yours. It's a little. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we should let it dry a little more. Mm -hmm. So this is basically five clothespins. They're small, but these are five clothespins that are glued together, back to back, and then put together to form a star. Then I can get for this one. Yeah. You want me to go for some glitter for you? Or you can come for it. Are you okay over here? You put a lot of glue on you. <laughs> what should I tell you? The glue will go on. Wonderful. It sticks in or it's just that? I think you put too much. Push. So all you need to do is just, all you need to do right now is to just put them together. I'm gonna get the glue gun, give me a second. Liquid Hold on, use this one. Thank you. Sure. Are you gluing them? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me get some glue for here. May I have some of your glue, please, Nara? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. All right, Auntie, I have started um, another project, mm -hmm. um, something like that into the ceiling, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm just adding my little glitter, the glitter accident just a while ago with the glitter, but you know, that's none, fine. none other than the <laughs> Okay, so you just glue, what you're going to do, you glue on the closer to the parts that you'll be touching, not necessarily everything. So you're going to glue on the inside right here, All right. and then you put the tissue roll there. Okay, wonderful. And then what you could do, give me a second, Philip. You could maybe add, let me use another one. 
you could maybe add, put it down, let me show you something. You could maybe add something to kind of give it a little flair. Like a little That's orchid cool. color. Yeah. Look, oh, so okay. you could do that as well. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. All right, wonderful. And I'm you going just to do, do the that. Same way. I'm going to do Alrighty. that. To you now. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Doing it, doing, and that is what that is what this is all about. Philip stated to me a while ago that he wants to do something different. So, what he said, he wants to do something different. So, I'm saying this is one of the things you need to do is to create your own and do it yourself, and it gives you a chance to be creative, and you can even show your friends, your family. And you just need to, all you need is basically at home, you can use your bulb and you can paint it, glitter it, or anything and hang them on the tree. Let me show you something. You all right, Naraya? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a simple thing, just put glue, and then you can just throw your glitter on it, and that's simply it. Do it yourself. A glitter bulb, wonderful. Yep, that's it. And then at the end of it, you could add either wool or your fishing line, and you have it hung. Simple put. Interesting. This is nice, Naraya. Thank you. Can I just squeeze in here for a second? Go ahead. Um, Are you guys okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Andy. That's good. You want a piece of the wood? I'm wondering what this is. Okay. Well, um, what you could do. I could mix them. You could mix it? Yeah, like use the pasta with it. That is fine. But you would need some glue gun. You'd need the glue gun for that one. Mm. Let me use this one over here. Let me help you. I'll only do this this time. So you want it on the center? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Sister. Can you help me actually? I'm coming, darling. And that's it. And mm -hmm. you can just squeeze a little. You want to put more pasta on it? Okay, here you go. Thank you. And you can use the paintbrush to just slightly brush it on, and maybe you can use the glitter or paint, anything. Let me lick it off for you. Oops. Sometimes these things happen, but that's why it's best to do it on paper to ensure that you, do, you don't damage mommy's furniture. The expensive furniture. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Yes, and you could paint it or glitter it. Mm -hmm. Or you can even use the spray paint. Are you okay over here? <laughs> it's going fairly. <laughs> okay. Is everybody okay? Yes, I'm sick, Kristen. So, what I'm going to do right here, after I have showed you the, the bulb, so you can basically put a knot around it. Kind of mess up my hand because the glue is, uh, is wet. But I guess you get the basic concept of it. And you can basically hang your ornament on the Christmas tree. Ooh. Let's just hang it on this tree for a little bit over here, you know, right here. That's where you want to hang spot. it? Yes. Let me, right, let me knot it right here. Right All right. It's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, Is everybody it? okay? Yes, I am. You want me to help you with the glue gun? 
You may need to plug it back in. Okay. There you go. All right, wonderful. So, Angie, I've just, you know, contrapped a little thing with a little, you know. Oh, this is nice. Tell me. I'm planning like to add, you tool. know, one more of this right in here. Remember, you can use these every day um, on your own. You know, you could just be at home. You don't have to. You don't even have to be doing it right now. You could just say, you know what, let me just do this tomorrow. We could just get up and, you know, we said, all right, then let's go. I'm going to make a little ornament to put up into my room and all these things. So we don't need to have to be going to the store and, you know, buying all these expensive ornaments. We exactly. have this right here on the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, Facebook and YouTube page, where you can come back and watch how we created these wonderful ornaments. Oh, I like that blue over there. You want to hang it on the tree? All right. Okay. Let me hang it right here. Right there. What were you saying, Lila? It's not quite dry yet, but sure. We can you want to hang it? Yeah. Let me add, okay. add something to it. So let's add the fishing line to it. Let me push it through and we knot it. Wash off the paint yeah, we have water and you can use the cup. Okay. Sorry. That's fine. Here you go, Leila. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me put it on the top. So you want me to add this to the Christmas tree for you, Leila? Yeah, please. Sure. help with anything else? Um, I'm fine right now, but I wanted to make it one of the, one of them out of the pasta. Which pasta? Um, this one? one? Maybe. I was thinking we could put this one in the middle of one of okay. the stars with these. Oops. All right. Let me use the glue gun. Again, we're using pasta, and this time we're going to be using two different pastas to make this ornament. So, You'll be gluing, which way you want me to do it? This way or? Any way, this way. Okay. You just have to ensure there is adequate glue, but not too much to so oh. cause it to. Look messy. Yes, look messy. Plus, when there's too much glue, sometimes it causes it to, um, not dr well it doesn't dry quickly so we're here gluing the penny pasta together and we're just going to glue some of them so we can have a little shape right here Look like skies, you could think they look like snowflakes. Yeah. Just use your imagination. Wonderful. That's right. Great. So we're almost finished with this right here. And uh, we basically have another pointy shape star right here. Oops. Oh, it didn't break. That's great. And then we're going to put the other pasta on it. And then this just makes it a little unique. There you go. Is Thank that OK? You so You're welcome. All right, so I um, have Ooh. used up a old like bulb. This. You know, you cannot screw up mommy's bulb and say you're going to make argument with it because oh, she might be see right there. So I'm using an old bulb that has already blown. Um, I am utilizing it by adding um, a sticky 
Elmer's glue um, on the bulb and I'm adding sprinkles all over it to make it a, to make it look a little bit spring um, sprinkle my aim is to allow it to be like a glow-in-the-dark light <laughs> Sometimes you can maybe use highlighter or even the markers, anything you could maybe, maybe one other thing you could do, let me show you something. You could maybe paint your hand and even just put your finger, your handprint on it, anything. That's nice. I might try that next. Exactly. That's going to take a while, but. Are you okay, Naraya? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just painting the Alright. Okay. I'm um, so, you know, could I add anything else to it? I was saying if we have ear paint, we could, I know, pin on it a little bit to make it look a little bit, con you know? Well, maybe or, you could add Or we could just shells. add this going around, if it's going to hold, like just going around Well, you remember it's a do-it-yourself ornament show, so anything can be possible. Let's try it. Yes. Let me cut off a piece of wood so you can hang it. Are go you, ahead. Is anyone using the gold scrubber? No. Okay. So let me see what you're doing. Go ahead. Remember, it's your creativity. You finish the shells? What else do you think, you know? You want some water to wash out the brush? Might make a new color. What other color are you think, you know? Purple. Okay, no problem. Do you have a napkin? No, we don't. We can use another brush. Use one of these smaller brushes. Just in case somebody wants to do something else. Okay, what's the idea right here, please? Well, I am trying to uh, um, replicate something that I had into the past. It is called a roll, uh, which a is roll? yes, a roll. Um, it had it. It had some stuff around it, mm -hmm. like a ballerina dress, mm -hmm. and then it had the ballerina in it, and then it had this up here where you could just have it right here, and you could just roll it. But because we don't have a roller, let's just, you know, put it onto the tree like this and, you know, hope that someone gets the same vision as I envision it to be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put the wool on it. Right. Don't let go. So all you do is to tie it and then ensure that it's secure. And mm -hmm. then you make a loop just to ensure that it can be hung on the tree. All right, so let's go. go. All right, right here. Okay. All right. And I think that is it for me. So I'm just going to go over and just see what my friends are doing. Um, I think I like what is going on over here with our quiz winner. Um, she, what are you making, um, um Layla? I'm just really doing my own thing. Yeah, I've got all right. The Alright, wonderful. So the wonderful green, um, yellow and the glitter color that signifies the Christmas spirit. So we're going to go on over here to Naraya. Naraya, I like that you're creating a very okay? own creative, yeah, okay. artistic yeah, and Van Gogh um, you know, piece. Um, so could you tell me about it a little bit more? Alright. Okay. A purple outline. Wonderful. So, Philip, how is your thing going? I'm seeing that you're making something of a flower. So, <laughs> what are you making? Well, I'm actually making a star. All right, a star. Wonderful. Like All right. You know, you're doing a little good thing over here. So, <laughs> so Auntie, um, yeah. one more question I have. Well, I like. How would you uh, how would you tell young persons like ourselves, you know, that uh, how can they signify what they actually want to create, or is it more of just thinking and saying, you know, I'm going to create a car? Well, it's similar to how you just did your bulb. 
All right. Anything you want to do, you can just go ahead and create it as all long right. as you have all the supplies. All right, wonderful. And you don't have to have a glue gun. You could, you know, go for your little own Elmer's glue or school glue, as exactly. what Leila said. You know, you don't even have to have wool, but if you have string, you can even tie it and secure it tight and then place it on your Christmas tree. And if you don't have a Christmas tree, you could ask mommy and daddy, you know, just to make a little um nail into your room so you could post it up and make create this big artistic thing or even on your wonderful ce um ceilings you can put them up there you know it is so wonderful that we are doing this thing you know and this will be helping our parents to save money very much so, very much so. instead of just <laughs> buying you know ornaments for money we'll be creating our own very artistic and van Gogh um artic art art <laughs> Our very own, you know, decorations and all of these things. So it is wonderful, you know? We can use in our recycled materials that we don't have to throw away. We can use them to make some festive, festive ornaments for Christmas. Exactly so. So that Leila just said she's using her recycled um, equipment, you know? So she um, is using the cup as a holder for her paint, sorry, her glue. And she's having her um, paintbrush and she's pasting her glue on the tissue roll um, and she's creating something like of what um, Nera is over there creating. I don't know if you saw the wreath. Yes, man. We should try the tackling wreath. that next time. Maybe next time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the wreath is out of tissue paper, buttons and uh, the small pine cone with nice. glitter on it. So I think I saw some pine cones over here. Um, so, you know, if you could... You could even go outside and see leaves and you could, you know, get some tissue paper and just place your leaves all over it, making a little crown or something of that artistic yeah. value. So you don't really need to go to the supermarket or the market or any one of those places, you know, to get your um, equipment. You could know you could just walk right outside of your house and get um, a, a rock and paint it into something, you know, wonderful with the Christmas spirit. All right, wonderful Layla. Sorry, let me get this big one over here. Are you going to do one more? Sure. Let me. I'm coming straight. One, two, three. So, right here, I'm just putting some glue from the glue gun so Philip can put his bow tie pasta at the end of his clothespins. And you could have borrowed the glue gun for there a little bit. I'm going to try like and create something. I feel like we should have you used gave the glue gun for three. You gave me a wonderful idea a while ago when you left the um, thing mm -hmm. right here like this. Mm -hmm. So I was planning on doing a little butterfly style. I'm putting the pine cone in between to make a head. Oh, that can work. And you know, you with this the string mm -hmm. to make like a little bit of a what do you call it now a tail for the butterfly <laughs> <laughs> that sounds creative and remember christmas is the season of giving if you already have your own ornaments you can make these for your friends your family even your teachers and if you see someone on the road that is you know feeling down or homeless as what philip just said you can stop and give them this all right, so you know, we have a couple more minutes of ornament making, so let's I'm just you know start you finishing it. up our ornaments. show you something here guys this can be your door decoration you know sometimes you want to maybe put a wreath on the door but you can't afford it or you just feel like to do your own D DIY um, decor for the door this would be something nice to put on your door this is really nice Naraya Thank you. you're welcome are you okay over here well I have changed it from the pine cone <laughs> to 
a pasta um, right here. So, so what are you thinking of? This signifies the head of the butterfly. So I'm thinking something of, of, of an artistic value, you know? Okay. Of their own Christmas butterfly, you know? So, so you created your own butterfly? Yes. Okay, Artistic. Then. So, you know, we have our little head right here signifying the, um, the butterfly's head. Mm -hmm. The two, well, the four wings, the two top ones and the, the two bottom ones. And I'm also going to ha um, add um the fish um the, the fish line yes the fish line right here mm -hmm. to also you know make it into you can use this one to also make it into like a tail mm -hmm. so you know this butterfly has many different values so it has a um a pasta head it has tissue wings and it now has a um, a, a fishing, fishing line, a fishing line as the tail of it, which is interesting, wonderful. Interesting, very interesting. And then to help me. How um, you want me to do? It? You want me to just knot it? Well, I was thinking more of gluing it in between right here, so with this um with the super glue. Let me try right here. All right. So let me glue this right here. you want it to have a curve mm -hmm. all right and then this right here it kind of looked like a hummingbird tail yes that is what we're going for there you, you go. know the butterfly and we're flying over here to you know at Layla to see what she's doing. She's finishing up her little artistic piece, so we're flying it's over wet. here to Naraya right oh, now wow. to see what Naraya oh, sure, is sure. doing. And Naraya is also finishing up. She also contracted this nice little wonderful thing. Naraya, what is this? That's like an orb. Oh, uh, like an orb. Is it, is it going to swallow the earth? Definitely not. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. And now we're going to fly back to my station where I'm going to ask Auntie when she's finished with Philip to help me glue this onto the tree somehow. You want it to be glued? <laughs> um, glued. <laughs> um. Is anyone not using a glue gun right now? All right, um, Auntie's carrying one for you. There you go. Auntie, so we, I guess we could just use this instead of gluing it onto the tree, which is going to be missing on the tree. We could put it right here, as what you said. Put it right here. Mm -hmm. Tie it. Ensure that it is tied correctly. Well, what you would need to do right here, because it's already in a hoop, so you can just tie it at the top, and oh. then that will be your... So tie it right up here, so... Yeah. All right, good. So we're not going to be finishing up. You know, so I'm going to go over to go. my, you know, wonderful friends, you know, friends for a short time. They might be up for a long time. So, okay. Phil, if it looks like you're on the edge of finishing up. I'm doing Can we just show the audience as to what you just did? Sure. All right, so give me the idea of what you just it's created. It's a job, but it's... Uh, um, I created a star with um, bow ties. And oh, then. fancy. Yeah. The star with bow ties. Okay then. Mm-hmm. A tie with bow ties. Wonderful. Alright, so we're going over to Naraya to ask her what she has, you know, finishing up and created. So I'm seeing where she's adding her glitter onto her tissue roll for her orb that will not be swollen up her earth as well. Um and she has also created something like of a reef to put on the door that the auntie said, so you know. It can even go right here, you know, like on a door, for, for example, you know, which is wonderful. So we're going over to Leela right now to see what is happening over here. Um, can I borrow this to show the audience? Um, sure. This one is a bit of a pet trap job. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is all about using your creativity, not making the perfect ornaments for your tree. Mine over here is kind of, <laughs> it's a bit of a patch up job, but it's fine because I had fun doing it. That's good. That is what we want. That's so she has created this wonderful thing here. You know, so it is it is breaking away, but you know, as she said, she was having fun. So I am going to sing a carol. Well, all of us will be singing a carol here. So any suggestions? A holy night, you know, a simple one, please. Alright, then so after one two three joy to the world the lord has come 
Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him rule. Let heaven and angels sing, and heaven and angels sing, and heaven and angels sing. All right, so thank you for tuning in to our DIY session right here on the Ministry yeah, of so Education YouTube and Facebook page. Good. But before we get to the trivia, I would like to say thank you so much to her to our guest presenter, Auntie Chris Ann Ramsey, who works into as she, she works as an analyst into the Children's Affairs and Policy Division. So wonderful for having you, Auntie. I wish I could have okay, what you know. Elbow, you yeah, know, wonderful. So, we're going to go into a little bit of a 10 minute trivia. So, we'll be asking the audience what, um, and how well, what and how Auntie said that they will be able to create, and how can they be able to create, and all of those stuff. Um, there are there are any means. So, firstly, Auntie, do you have any questions that you, that you want to ask the audience? No, I don't. All right, then. So my first question to you is, how did Nuraya make this? You know, how did she make this? Because, you know, you, you, you all were here um, through the journey. So, you know, she, what did she use? So one of the things that I'm going to give away right now is that she used pasta shells to create the top. So what else did she use to create um, this wonderful door reef? All right, so um, the next question is, what are some of the materials used in today's DIY session? So while we give the audience some time to answer, I would just like to give away a few tokens on behalf of the Children's Affair and Policy Division to my little friends for today. So I'm going to ask Philip um, to come right here and collect his little gift by the Children's Affairs and Policy Division. So here you go, Thank Philip. You very much. You're welcome. Now I'm going to go to Niraya while the um, guest um, and while the viewers, sorry, answer the question. Here you go, Niraya. And I'm going to leave Layla's own until after. The prize for the person that answers the trivia is a $200 credit. How you can collect this credit is by sending us an email at children's at um, moey.gov.jm M with your name and network and also your number so I am going to um, check the text line to see if anyone has um, given the correct answer but right before that I'm going over to see what Leila is doing over here I'm seeing that she has started to create um, a new thing yeah. could you tell us a little bit about it And then I came up with, with the idea to make something very creative that I am going to call a pasta windmill close thinking. Pasta windmill close thinking. Yeah. All right, then artistic. It's wonderful, you know. It doesn't have to be anything. All that matters is that I'm having fun and I'm using my imagination and creativity. Wonderful. That is what we want for you, our viewers, to use your imagination to create something artistic. So Michelle Campbell said tissue roll and cake and glue shells. Sorry, yes, glue and shells. So let's just give her a round of applause for, you know, getting the right answer. So my next question is, what are some of the ornaments we made today? What are some of the ornaments we made today? You could only list one or you can list something. So the prize again is $200 um, credit. Um, how you can receive this prize is by sending us an email at children at moey.gov.jm. 
.gov.jm with your name, number, and network. So right now we're going to sing a, a, a next Christmas carol that will be done by Philip. He will be singing Silent Night for us. Um, so Philip, take it away. Wonderful silent night. All right, so now we have come to an end of our trivia session and the end of our next show. Please tune in again um, ne next month. Um, the it is every month um, the second um, Friday. Um, in each month, you can tune in here um, again, and you. Oh, and again, I would like to say congratulations and a heartfelt appreci appreciation to our guest speaker, Miss Chrisanne Ramsey, and to all of our um, friends right here, and to our winner of the trivia round, Miss Michelle Campbell. Congratulations to you, Miss. Um, and thanks in advance to the audience that has been here with us right throughout the show. This just shows us here at the Children's Hour show that you love and appreciate this show. Um, and I'm also reminding all the audience to please maintain um, a good social distance. Please wash your hands, wear masks, and protect yourself. Um, all right, so I am going to um, ask my friends here, how did today's show go? Um, so I'm going to start with Layla. How was the show today, Layla? I think today's show was great. We all had fun. We used our imagination. It was very creative. We did our own thing, and I think it was incredible. All right. So I'm going over to Naraya. How was today's show for you? I think today's show was great. It was fun, and I got to let my creativeness Flow out. Wonderful, that is what we want at the Children's Hour. All right, so Philip, how was today's show for you? All right, it was fun. And T, I want to hear from you. Come over here with me. You know, we're going to be singing in a little while. How was today's show? It was fun. It was very great seeing you with all of your imagination, Philip, Naraya, you, Rashid, and Layla. It was really great. And I enjoyed myself. Thanks for having All me. All right. So I'm going to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all the viewers viewing on Instagram. Viewing on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. It is a pleasure being your host. And we're going to sing Jingle Bell as we close off. So one, two, three. Jingle, jingle bell, bell, jingle bell, bell jingle all the way. All the rally with the the one heart's open sleigh. Hey, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, the rally with the rams in a one heart's open sleigh. Hey, through the snow in a one heart's open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha! Bells and buzzes ring, making spirits bright. Oh, what it is the finest thing is.